Hello my friends, welcome back. I have another experiment for us to do together, except this experiment is kind of like an art project, kind of like a science experiment mushed into one. Have you ever wished that you had your very own rainbow? If your answer is yes, today is your lucky day because you are going to learn how to grow your very own rainbow inside of your house. All that you're going to need is paper towels, markers, a pair of scissors, some water, and some plastic cups. And if you're me and you've seen any of my other videos of experiments, I always make a mess. So I'm gonna start having a towel at the table as well. So the first thing you're going to need is a paper towel. I have the half sheets. So if you don't have a half sheet, have your mom or dad help you cut the sheet in half. Once you have your half sheet, you're going to fold your paper towel in half like a hamburger. No, this is a hot dog. Like a hot dog. You're gonna fold it like a hot dog. I don't know where these terms came from. When I was little, we learned folding it long ways is like a hot dog, because a hot dog is really long, and folding it short ways is like a hamburger, but I still get them mixed up. Okay, anyways, besides the point, this is what your paper towel is gonna to look like. You fold it long ways. Then you're going to fold it like a hamburger, short ways. So you have a small rectangle like this. Once you open it up, that line you just folded, you're going to cut along that line. So you'll have two rectangles. You only need one rectangle. If you wanna give one of your rectangles to a friend for them to do this, you can do that as well. Then you're going to open it up and now you have a big rectangle. That line that you just folded on, we aren't gonna fold back on that line. We're going to fold down like a hot dog. Yes, like a hot dog. So you have your short rectangle all over again. A lot of folding just to get to this part. Then what you're going to need is your markers and you're going to be coloring every color of the rainbow. So first color in the rainbow is what? Red. So we are going to take our red and we are going to color a red strip on our paper towel on both ends. So let me color it and then I will show you what I mean by that. And coloring on a paper towel, you will soon find out is not very easy. Okay, so you're going to have a red strip on both sides of your paper towel. What's the next color in our rainbow? Orange. So you're going to right next to that red strip, color an orange strip. on both sides. And it will look something like this. Next color is yellow, my favorite color. Color that yellow strip next to your orange. After yellow is green, this is a very dark color green. So far so good. Does it look like I'm gonna be able to finish my rainbow? What's after green? Blue. Make sure it's on both sides again. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So you're going to color the last chunk of your paper towel purple. Make sure you color pretty much all of that white space from blue to the other side to make sure that your rainbow is complete. And I will show you what mine looks like when it is done. My fold is coming undone here. Okay, so here is my paper towel with my two mini rainbows on both sides. The next thing you are going to do, you don't need your markers anymore, put your little rainbow aside, is you're gonna take your two cups and put them next to each other and they can touch. Then you're going to use your water and pour some water in both of your cups. Okay, here's the fun part when the science happens. You're going to 
take your paper towel and you're going to drape it from one cup to the next cup. Actually, I'm going to leave my cups a little farther apart. You're going to put it in the water. Are we ready? Here we go. And you're just going to let it sit. And your rainbow is going to grow across your cup before your eyes. I'm going to bring this over so you can see. Wasn't that so cool? You just grew your very own rainbow inside of your house. I've seen similar experiments to this where you practice color mixing, which I'm hoping to do next week or sometime soon, so be on the lookout for those. But I've never done an experiment before where you just got to build your own rainbow and it just grew right in front of you. And I hope that you guys are having fun staying at home and doing some of these experiments. I will make sure that I keep trying to find new experiments and books to read to you guys as long as you guys keep watching. I will see all of you tomorrow. Bye. So as I mentioned earlier in this video, I am pretty prone to making a mess and I didn't make a mess today. So I feel like I need to make a mess to hold my title. So I dumped my water out into the sink and I just wanted to show you how cool this rainbow actually looks. So taking the paper towel out, Now we're gonna drip everywhere. This is what your rainbow will look like. Isn't that pretty neat? I just thought that I'd show that to you. Anyways, see you guys tomorrow.